Hey, before this video starts, I just want to say thank you for the support. I really do appreciate it. I'm trying to get 100,000 subscribers, so if you want to help me out, make sure to subscribe. Now enjoy the video. Send him in. Ah, oh, there you are. It took you long enough to actually get here. Come here. Sit down. No, you're not really in trouble. It's more to the fact that I wanted to come and see you and check up on you. So, how have you been? Well, I'm glad to hear that. Yes, there is a reason why you're here. You see, I kind of missed out on you when it came to uh, Halloween. I missed out on talking to you because, well, I had a little surprise for you. Mm-hmm. You see, kid, um, you've been doing good here. You've been doing great here. But one of your Pokemons is uh, just, it's not up to par for what I want for you as a team. You don't understand what I'm trying to say here? It's the Rattata. You gotta get rid of the Ratatata. It's... It, I know it was your first Pokemon you ever caught. It's something special to you. I understand. We all lose our first ever Pokemon sometimes. It just happens when you go out and... Uh, you catch higher level Pokemons. It's Eventually he's gonna end up in a box somewhere where you forget him. It always happens to trainers when they realize they need a strong team. Mm-hmm. I'm asking you to put away your ratatata because of my surprise. Mm-hmm. So I went out and I did a little bit of a uh, hunting myself. You know... Because, you know, Guzma can treat his punks and grunts the way he wants to because I'm Guzma. I can do whatever I want, basically. I'm the living embodiment of destruction. <laughs> anyway. So I went out and caught myself a Gengar. Come on now, Gengar. Ginga. Mm-hmm. He's a good one, too. He knows a few tricks up his sleeves. Very mischievous on the battlefield. Very good listener as well. And I feel like... This Gengar... It would look good on your team. Yeah. I really think it would. With all your... Ground types and whatnot, and even your water types. You have ground and water types, right? That's exactly what you got. Mm-hmm. If you got rid of that Ratatata, you could have this amazing ghost-type Pokemon on your team, and you'd be running through the gyms. You'd be running through the Elite Fours across the countries and continents and whatnot. You would be in the top league. Heck, you may even be in the Elite Force with this Gengar. Who knows? But we're not gonna know until you take it on your team. Mm-hmm. I know. 
it's going to be a little bit hard to put that little Pokemon away. But leveling up and growing up is what happens in the real life. You just got to swallow that hard pill. And then you'll be in good hands in no time, honestly. Mm hmm. So here, Gengar, return. I'm going to give this Gengar to you. I trust you in making the right decision of putting him on your team. Now, I'm not forcing you to put the Gengar on your team. I'm letting you decide here. You either keep your Ratatata, or you go with the Gengar I just gifted you. It's your choice. I'm not forcing you here. I'm just the one giving you it. Because you've been a good grunt lately. Mm-hmm. You done me a good deed. But there's one more thing. One more thing why I called you up here. Besides giving you that Gengar. I got some secret business I gotta attend to. And, uh... Not a lot of people know about my secret attendances. When it comes to getting our what type of uh, money, income, and whatnot, so I'm gonna need you to look around the place, see where a type of uh, a slackers of the grunts, and I'm gonna need you to write down names, and you bring that list back to me. And then I can tell them to hit the rocks. Because in our budget, we don't really support our slackers as much as we do with our other people. Because, well, they're not working as hard. And that ruins my money income. And that also ruins our team name. And also our image and whatnot. Yeah, that's all I really need you to do. Take some names, get them out of here. Yep. Mm hmm. Yeah, what's up, Grunt? <laughs> you don't gotta thank me for the Ganga. You've been working hard, so I decided to give you a little reward for it. And maybe if you work even better, I'll give you greater reward. Maybe even a pay raise or even promotion push up and whatnot, but that's only if you do good jobs. Mm-hmm. Here. I'll give you a bonus for right now. Here's 1,200 polka dollars. Spend it on something nice for yourself, or even one of your parents or something. Don't even mention it, kid. Mm-hmm. All right, get out of here. Take the names. And remember, bring them back to me when you're done. <laughs> Man. Kids these days, huh? Mm. My phone going off. You reach Guzma. Really? Now that's surprising, really. All right, all right. Tell everyone to bring the grunts. And also, I'll be down there in a few minutes myself. Tell them. Destruction's coming their way. <laughs> well, looks like another cocky kid wants to face me in a Pokemon battle. That doesn't bother me one bit. I'll show him who is real boss around here. The big boss. 
the man of destruction himself, your boy Guzma, is going to be showing her kid what's what. <laughs> You know, given that Gengar to that grunt earlier, got me smiling like a, like a clown, basically. But they did do a good job. There's no other way I could probably repay them besides what I just did. They're a good grunt. Yeah, they're good.